I've had this parent master brake cylinder brace for about a year, never installed it on the car. So I thought I'd make a quick do-it-yourself video for you guys. It should be just like six bolts on the side over here. I'll show it to you. Instructions are on the ground, should be pretty straightforward. So this is everything that came in the box with the instructions over here. This is the actual brace, just a closer look at it. Really nicely put together product. I don't know where this stuff came from, whatever. What else came? Two hex keys for the M6 and M8 bolts. This is the M8 bolt that goes inside the wheel well. Uh, we have to lift the car supposedly to get to it. And three M6 bolts that will probably go on the inside uh, right on over here. This is probably where the eight bolt, uh, M8 bolt is going to go. So let's get started. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, and some stickers. So per the instructions on STI models, the fuel pressure regulator is right over here and it does get in the way of the install. I'm going to try to work around it, but if you want to uh, get this loose and out of the way, uh, you use a 10 millimeter socket. The screws that the, uh, the brace actually screws into, they're all exposed on this back side here, just this is in the way. Actually, I'm going to try to move the fuel pressure regulator. It is really tight in here, so on the back side of this, there's actually a little clip here. And I could pop that out and get this moving. There's not much room to move around because all the hoses are still attached, but at least I could get a little bit more clearance to get my wrench in. There's actually two 10 millimeter bolts in there. <laughs> so it's hard to see here, but the, the place where the master cylinder brake brace is going to go is right here. There are three bolts that are gonna be bolted onto the inside over here. Once you slip this through, they go down to those bolts. Technically, it should be bolted down somewhat like that. So right now, this is the parent brace. These are the six M6 bolts. I'm just gonna place them in there since it's a pretty tight fit right now. And my plan is to screw those three in loosely within one, two, and three right over here. There's like five of them there, but just use common sense. It's the ones that are kind of next to each other and the last one here. Actually, I might do this one by one rather than all at the same time. Brake cylinder brace is technically on, missing this bolt here, and that is gonna actually come right through over here. That one there. So the reason why we had to take off the tire is that we need to get to this spot, spot right over here. With the tire, like I could touch it. The spring is compressed. There's just no room to actually get your hand in here, actually tighten up the screw. So just to show that that is the hole that we're working with, it's that thing that's moving right there. We have the M8 bolt. We have a washer that's supplied. We're just gonna tighten that in with by hand first and then tighten it with the hex key that was provided. Tires 
back on, the pair and brace is a bit more secure now that the 8mm bolt is on. I'm just going to use a six, M6 hex key to tighten up the small bolts on this side. And then I'll put back the fuel regulator. So I just finished hand tightening or tightening it with the hex key on this side. The pair and brace is basically finished here. I'm just going to put back the bracket for the fuel pressure regulator and we'll start to adjust the actual master brake cylinder brace. I'm just going to use an extension to get to these 10 millimeter bolts or screws because I just want to make sure they're tight. Fuel pressure regulator is back in place. And last step is just to put the last screw in. As a final step to all of this, this last hole, we're gonna install the actual brace part of it. So this, um, this screw is gonna thread through and then you're just gonna lock it in place here. Basically you tighten this all the way to the point where it touches and then you can tighten it, tighten this threaded area now that it's basically touching the master brake cylinder right now. So the more that I turn this, the tighter the master brake cylinder will get. I don't know how to technically tight well, I could tighten that with you could tighten this up with I believe the eight M8 hex key. So I think that's it for the pair and brace. It's a pretty straightforward install, just annoying to get to the parts since it's such a tight space. Uh, most annoying part to me was installing the M6 screws on the inside of the here. A little annoying to get to the, um, the inside wheel well as well with the M8 bolt, but everything's pretty straightforward as long as you have some patience. I'm doing all these installs right now because I'm actually going to be going to Laguna Seca in end of this week actually. So I'm going to be installing an IAG AOS. So that's going to be fun. I need to do some research on that, figure out how to do that. but. Pair and brace was pretty straightforward. Hope you liked the video. If you want to see more content, if you want to see me create more videos for you guys, please like and subscribe. And I'll try to do as much as I can when I have a budget for it. So it'll be dope. Thanks for watching again. Take care.